Once the battery has been put in, the lock will automatically be in testing mode, which means anything will activate the lock. To put it off testing mode, all you need to do is to download Chuya or Smart Life app. Once Bluetooth is turned on and all of the permissions has been granted on the app, that's very important. Make sure you grant the permissions inside the app. A pop-up should appear automatically via Bluetooth. So right now the phone is detecting a Bluetooth signal from the lock. All you need to do is click on to add and it should add the lock automatically. If that pop-up message doesn't come up, sometimes you just need to activate the lock using the fingerprint and you will see that pop-up message. Sometimes in the first go, it does fail to add device. Don't worry about that. So try again. So, so click on to add device. And sometimes you need to activate the lock just to see the pop-up message. So once you see the pop-up message, simply click on to add and the app should automatically add the lock. Once it has been added, click on this pencil icon to change the name, click on to finish and done. And now, it has been paired. Notice it is now off testing mode. No fingerprints will work unless it's been registered, but the app should now work. Swipe right to unlock it. Swipe left to lock it. It does automatically lock after a couple of seconds. So don't worry about that right now is after a couple of seconds, it will automatically lock itself. The first thing you want to do most likely is to add your fingerprints. You should be able to see your own profile already. And you can also add family members by clicking onto this plus icon, click on to add. You can give them the name. If they have another Chuya or Smart Life account, you can also put them there as well. Note that if you're using Chuya, your whole family must be using the Chuya app. If you are using the Smart Life app, your whole family must be using the Smart Life app. So like this, you can create, for example, an account for your father. You don't need to put an account if they don't have a Chuya or Smart Life account. Click on to save and you have now created a family member setting. How do you add fingerprints? So for example, you want to add your own fingerprint, click onto yourself. You now have fingerprint, code and card. You can add your own fingerprint. Now, it is very important that you remember this angle because the angle does affect the reliability of the fingerprint. So th if this is the angle that you feel most natural with, keep this angle you don't want to start changing it it will not be as consistent at reading your fingerprint so when it comes to adding the fingerprint just pick an angle that is the most comfortable for you when it comes to my fingerprints i don't really like to use my flat side i like to use my tip side so this is the angle that i'm most comfortable with so i'm gonna just keep at this angle and you can click OK. Fingerprint has now been added. You notice this finger will now work. Any other ones will not work. Notice, even though this finger has been registered, if I change the angle, it doesn't work. You see? Next, you might also want to add a passcode. Note that the app will not allow you to use really weak passwords. So for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, is just too weak and the app will not allow you to do it. Pick a 
good decent passcode, something like that. 125643, click on to OK. 125643, click on to save. And now you can do so. Click on to the star to activate the lock. 125643, click on to hash to activate. The lock is now engaged. Next, you want to add a key card. So, to add key card, click on to add, add, gain your key card, place it where the fingerprint sensor is. It has now been added. Okay. And it should now work.